hello friends and welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to show you how to purchase usdt on binance without using the p2p method because at the time of making this video binance has um disabled the p2p method for nigeria i don't know for other countries so what you want to do is just log into your binance app once you're in your binance app what you want to do is just um in case you are not having this screen here in case your own dashboard is not showing like this just click on this um icon here on the left hand side okay also make sure that your binance app is up to date go to play store and update it so you, you click on this icon on the left hand side here just tap on it once you just tap on it what you want to do is just look down here okay if you look down here it will be showing binance pro okay once it's showing binance pro just tap on it once you just tap on that binance pro let's just go back it will be showing like this just tap on the binance pro once you just tap on it your dashboard will be showing like this so once you are here what you want to do next is come to your trades look at this trace down here tap on trace so once you tap on trace the next you want to do is to click on fiat look at fiat up here look at fiat just tap on fiat up there once you tap on fiat the next option is to select their bank transfer okay cash link look at this bank transfer cash link just tap on it so once you just tap on it you just tap on it okay to just load okay it's already in error you just tap on continue tap on continue so once you just tap on continue just wait for it to load so it just asks you to input the amount that you want to send so let's just input ten thousand there so depending on the amount that you want to send uh you see the amount that you receive here. if you like input one million here they'll show you the amount that you receive here okay the merchant will, will collect their charge okay for this ten thousand euro that i want to deposit here you can see that the charge is 100 there so any amount that you you want to deposit they'll show you the, the merchant's fee okay and the amount that you receive just tap on continue so once you're here what you want to do is, is to um just read the options here read the option that they, they, they will show you here okay once you are done reading it what you want to do is to pay into the uh into the account that they will give you okay any account that they gave you they just pay into the account then once you just have, once you just make the payment just click on i've paid here okay i'll just pause this video and make the payment all right so i just sent the money so when making this payment before you make the payment also make sure that you are you're you are paying from your own account okay your own bank account your own that has your verified um, binance name on it okay don't go and use another person's um back account to make the payment because you will not receive it make sure that you're sending from your own back account from your own bank app okay so once you have sent the money what you want to do is to um okay you can also read the tips here okay before making the payment pay with your own back account name okay do not include any crypto related word or btc on it so once you have sent the money to the account that they provided for you what you want to do is click on this half page you can also chat the, you can if you want to chat with the seller you can chat, chat with the person here okay but um we are not chatting with the person just click on this half page here once you have sent the money okay so um once you just click on that half page uh it will just bring out a dashboard like this okay for you to wait for them for the person to release um, your your fiat for you okay for you for the person to release the money into your binance account for you okay so just um just wait once they just send the money to you into your binance account here it will just show here on your dashboard so i'll just pause this, this video and continue once the money is sent to my dashboard all right so once they send the money okay into your wallet what you want to do is to to just show like this okay that time that you're waiting not to remove the banner the banners up just stay on the screen okay so from here you can see that the money have uh, they have deposited into, into my spot wallet i'll just tap on okay to continue okay so i'll just press my back button press your back button again press the back button again okay just press your back button so continue press your back button until you, um you are here on your home screen so once you're here on your, on your home on your home screen what you want to do next is you just tap on trace tap on trace again okay once you're in this um trace look at trace here once you are here once you're about to this place what you want to do is just click on this trs slash um usdt in case you're on you show you're not and that and but just tap on it okay tap on it just look for usdt slash um ngn usdt you just search for it usdt slash ngn okay just um locate it once you once you, you have located it just um change it to this usdt slash ngn so once you're here what you want to do is to trade your ngn for usdt okay um from here just tap on this limit tap on limit you just change it to market for us to buy it at the current market price okay so after that you just input the amount of us 
this is that you want to buy with your with your ngn okay just tap on this total here tap on total you just input the amount so for me i will be using um 9900 to purchase the usdt so once you have inputted the amounts in there the next thing you want to do is click on this buy usdt okay i'll just tap on it so once you can see sources okay we just purchased it now okay and once we just go back to our spot wallet you see that the um, amounts will just reflect there okay if you come to your sports wallet if you click on wallet and come to your sports wallet this the spot wallet usdt it will be showing here okay that you have purchased it okay if you want to purchase again okay you also follow the same procedure okay make sure that this thing is in usdt slash ngm you input the total amount that you want to purchase with your nera here then you click on this buy usdt here okay and you successfully buy it so i hope that you really got value from today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up okay and hit that subscribe button if you're here to, to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section the next video that you want me to upload to this channel okay so thanks for watching to the end guys and i will see you on my next video